You have to have trust in the people that you send to D.C. I wish people would know the Dave that I know. He's a man with deep integrity and an emotion for the rights of people who oftentimes don't see those those rights. My family and I had uh, suffered a personal tragedy and I met him when he was a detective working for the King County Sheriff's Office. He has always, always made us feel like we were the most important people to him. It was more than I had ever expected. It was it was a caring, it was a, a deep, deep caring, not, uh, not just because it was his responsibility to care or his duty to care, but it was because it came from deep inside him. And when he told me that he was going to run for Congress, I said, it's going to be very hard not to become a quote-unquote politician. It's going to be very hard to not stay true to, to yourself and to what you believe in. And I said, just promise me that you won't become jaded, you won't become cynical, that you will keep the ideas that, that motivate you to, to run for Congress and to keep the integrity of those ideas pure so that you will truly be the kind of representative that your district um, expects of you and that, um, and that the rest of us who know you expect of you. When he tells you that you're going to be okay, that he's He's not, a, he's not a fortune teller. He's not looking into some crystal ball and trying to shine you on. He's, he's telling you what he believes, and he will do everything that he can to make that happen. Everything. Yeah, everything. He wants to know the positions and the ideas of all of his constituents because all of them aren't Republicans. All of them aren't Democrats. All of them aren't, you know, they're not just one party. And being of different parties, you have different ideas, different focuses on what's important to you. And he wants to know what is important to the people that he represents. If he doesn't agree with them, at the very least, he will listen to them and to take into consideration their point of view and to really try to understand that point of view so that he can do the best for as many people as as he's able to. Uh, granted, there are some people that just aren't going to agree with him or even find fault with his decisions, but they can't find fault with the integrity that brought upon those decisions because that's always true with Dave. It's always true. He has responsibilities um, with the, the committees that he's on, and he will work to make sure that his responsibilities are attended to. It goes without saying that his staff will do the same thing because he wouldn't accept, accept it to be otherwise. I give Dave a lot of credit for voting against the rescue package. Um, I wasn't particularly affected by it, but I know that my children will be and my grandchildren. I don't like to see them having to face the kind of debt that we're all going to be uh, faced with over the years. But that's where the integrity comes in. He, f he truly believed that it was best for him not to vote for that rescue package because of the impact on his, his district, because of the impact perhaps on, on, on all the people across the country. For the people that he represents, they couldn't ask for a, for a finer representative. They couldn't ask for a better person because he's willing to, to listen to everybody's opinion. He has deep-seated beliefs. He's true to his beliefs. And in that respect, he's true to the people that he represents. I just couldn't think of a finer person to be a, a, a congressman from the 8th District. He understands why he was sent to, 
to Washington, D.C. in the first place, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that those constituents know that he is working for them.